Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Harncook, Ion Tyres, specially designed for electric vehicles, PowerShop, for day or night EV charging plans, and CarLoop, data to empower Australia's EV revolution. Hey everyone, I'm Tom, this is Joy. Hello. And welcome to an update video of our Seek Energy 40 kilowatt hour battery behind us here. Uh, check out our other videos on the uh, setup and the installation of this battery. But just to remind you, it is a 40 kilowatt hour Seek Energy battery, LFP. We have 8.4 kilowatts of uh, AC coupled solar, which was a previous installation prior to the battery. Those of you who follow our channel will know that we've had that for many years now. Uh, the battery was installed uh, on the 28th of August, I believe, so just over six weeks ago, roundabouts. Uh, this replaced a Tesla Powerwall 2, which was previously in this spot. Um, yeah, so today I just wanted to give you an update uh, of our Amber uh, usage. Amber is a wholesale uh, electricity provider here in Australia. It uses the wholesale pricing rather than a set tariff um, and using, I guess, algorithms, predictive AI to fill your battery up from solar and then discharge it when the price is high, the export tariff is high. Two things there. One is that Amber uses the market rate for um, electricity. So you will pay or sell um, pretty much what the market rate is. Um, and then there's a second component on top of that, which is that if you want to make the best use of that, you can just let the Amber algorithm take care of things. So you don't have to, you can you know, switch it off and fiddle with it yourself. Mm. Or I think it's called, is it optimization? Yeah, Smart earnings optimizer. Earnings optimizer, yeah. yeah. So if you just sort of tick that little toggle um, in the Amber app, mm. um, have it all set up and then just let it do its thing. But it won't automatically do that once you join Amber, you actually have to toggle mm. that setting. It's not that Amber is automatically um, like, uh, I think you were saying it was kind of like automatically finding the best price for you. It mm. doesn't It doesn't do that. Um, it only does it if you're on Earnings Optimizer. So I should chime in there and say there's actually three ways to play with Amber. There's the Earnings Optimizer. Actually the first two ways are using AI to uh, let, let the computer work out what's best for you and that's either through earnings optimizer and that's you know, discharging the battery when the tariff's high. You may not always have a full battery but you'll hopefully reduce your bill or make some money. And the other way is self-consumption and that's, op that's sort of maximizing use of the battery for your home. You, you may not discharge the grid because, but you will use the battery storage to power your home. And the third way is the fiddle um, and that's just manual, right? You can just you know, fill the battery up with the grid. Um, you know, just you don't trust the computer. You just do your own thing, basically. And you can use the Sig Energy app to do that as well, to sort of fiddle with it yourself and don't trust Amber. But we always have it on Earnings Optimizer. Well, most of the time, Earnings Optimizer, except during the moment. And that's Earnings Optimizer is using the algorithm, using the a Amber Predictive AI to mm -hmm. charge and discharge yeah, battery it, at the right time. I think it's, the app says it takes about thirty days to kind of learn your usage. So. Yeah. Um, you may see it doing strange things initially, but and that's the thing, like every household's different and yep. uses their electricity at different times. So it'll just kind of gather that knowledge. And you might be thinking, oh, well, I use electricity differently in spring compared to say summer or something like that. But I think it kind of takes, I mean, I'm just guessing here, but I think it sort of kind of takes what it sees from you and also compares it to kind of like, you know, like the big data set of everybody else and can kind of like put you into like, well, you're this kind of household. So you will behave like this sort of household in the coming days and months as well. So mm. basically it's got a lot more information than you do. So it's not necessarily gonna make a better decision, but it probably is. So I'm gonna give you an example of uh, what happens when you do fiddle with the app because you don't trust the algorithm. Um, and what happens when you don't fiddle with the app and how much money you can make from that. And then the days when you, there's no spike, even if you don't fiddle, you'll still come out ahead, right? So there are three examples here. The first example is Thursday 9th of October. And you can see here that uh, it costs us $3.39, okay, mm. from the day's usage. This occurred because uh, towards the end of the day or towards sort of five, six o'clock, uh, Amber sort of threw up a warning. Well, actually didn't even throw up a warning. We were looking at the app, we were app gazing. Uh, something we sort of tell our viewers not to do, but we did it anyway. <laughs> yep. We went against our it, own advice. It said like a predicted price spike when it showed like the red. Yeah, and we got excited, or Joe got excited. <laughs> and then we were like, but the battery's not 
full. Yeah. Like it, the battery was, I don't even know what the battery was, but it. Like 50% maybe? Yeah. And yeah. we're like, why? 40%. You know, <laughs> there's not, not yeah. enough in the battery. So like, we're not going to take advantage of this price spike. Us being fiddly humans <laughs> decided to charge the battery ourselves mm. uh, using the 20. 5 kilowatt inverter, by the way, this is a huge pipe, 25 kilowatt inverter, so it charged at 22 kilowatts, 22 being, um, you know, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 modules, 5 times 4.8, so the max is about 24 kilowatt throughput with the we, 5 modules. I mean, we only did it for about an hour or so, 2 hours? Yeah. So we got it up to reasonably high, 60-70%, with all being smart, take advantage of the, you know, supposed spike that was coming, but... The spike never really eventuated. No, it didn't. No, it sort of uh, fizzled away. So we ended up paying three dollars thirty-nine, almost for nothing. It's like, well, mm. didn't really need that much energy. Yep. I guess. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, and we know that's the case because um, my parents have the Powerwall too that we, we don't. We used to have. Mm. Yep, that we don't have anymore, and um, they didn't fiddle with their app, <laughs> and on that same day, they made money. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> so we know that it. Yeah, it wasn't just like, it's not that we, um, that perhaps we would have ended up paying money on that day because we know that there's someone who was in a very similar situation with solar and a battery um, and they didn't touch the Amber app and they actually made a bit of money yeah, that day. Or at least didn't lose money like us. So let's yeah. have a look at Friday the 10th of October, the very next day. Now have a look at this. So uh, on this day, uh, the net usage was minus $45.38. If you look at the solar component, um, the feed-in earned us $46.54, okay? Usage was $1.16, so very little. So this day, we did not fiddle with the app, okay? Admittedly, there was, a, there was an actual spike, but it w if you look at it historically, it lasted for about five minutes. Yep, so you I, can do this. Yeah, so there you go. I didn't know you could do that, so oh, I scrolled well, up. Thank you. I'm telling you. I'm there you go. teaching you something. Thank you. That, that's actually, I think you can tell how much time I spend on this app. Yes, she's the app gazer. <laughs> so this, I think... Well, how long is that? Like 15 Five, minutes? Five, ten minutes, I yeah. think. It wasn't long. It wasn't long. It mm. was, I remember looking at this when, because you can see the historical data from the last 24 hours. Now that you know, time has passed, I can't see that anymore except for this graph. But you could see in five minute increments that there was a spike of about, how much are we talking? It was, it was like $15. It was quite high actually that day, wasn't it? Reasonably Admittedly, high. Admittedly, I wasn't actually looking during yeah, the spike. Yeah, it was definitely double digits. It wasn't, I, I think it was 14, 15 dollars. So that five minute spike alone, and because again, we've got this big inverter, 25 kilowatt inverter, we could chuck all the throughput from the modules back to the grid at quite a high rate, 22 kilowatts. And hence we ended up earning $45 that day. We did not touch the app. We didn't go, oh, let's game it and charge more from the grid. When it was cheaper, we just left it alone. $45, 38 cents. So I'll admit <laughs> AI looked after us that day and helped us earn quite a bit of money. Imagine, that was only five minutes, right? Obviously, had it been longer, like half an hour, which we're hoping for one hour, yeah, as summer goes on, as more power is being used uh, in the evening, makes the grid more volatile, then hopefully you can earn hundreds of dollars. But, I mean, that's the benefit of having a big straw, a big inverter. Mm. So um, on our old Powerwall 2, the most it could give out was like 4.5 to five, 5. Yep. five. Um, and this is like four times that isn't it? Because we did find that in towards the end of summer, well, it was basically early autumn when we first moved over to Amber, price spikes don't tend to last very long. Like they don't generally last an hour. They normally generally last, yeah, like half 10, 15 hour. minutes, half Next. an hour. Yep. Yeah. So um, in order to take the most advantage of it, you do really need a big inverter. Mm. So 45 bucks, that was, that was pretty good. That's probably the, the biggest amount we've earned in a while actually there's been a bit of a dearth in spikes over the last few months which is understandable because we've just come yeah. through like the end of winter and then spring yeah. when there's you know plenty of solar yeah. yep so we'll see as time goes on we'll keep reporting back to you and then saturday which was yesterday again we didn't touch the app no spikes but we still came out on top minus a dollar 36 which i think is what probably should have happened on thursday if we didn't <laughs> yeah that's true solar two dollars 81 earning and then usage dollar 45 and mm -hmm. we still came out on top so yeah, those of you who say, uh, and there's nothing wrong with joining a plan like OVO or AGL, which has a you know, like a few, few hours of free power to the home even, and then like a cheap overnight rate. So one strategy is to have, if you've got two or three hours of free electricity usage, free import, you can charge the battery up for free and then just use the battery cell consumption at home. And I think PowerShop's actually got both options. That's they've true. got a, they've got, so depending on what your situation is like, they've got an EV day charging plan or mm. they've got um, so you get that two hour window or there's the night 
charging plan where I think you get between like midnight and 4 a.m. 4 a.m. for yeah. cheap, sorry. They are our sponsors. Thank you for reminding me. PowerShop, <laughs> thank you very much. So yes, PowerShop, other provider that can do that. <coughs> Um, but this is the benefit of Amber, right? So this is what we all hang out for as Amber users. These days when a spike, even a small spike like this, $45, it'll make up for a lot of days where you're behind a plan like PowerShop, like AGL, Over, whatever. This will make up for a lot of those so days. So don't, don't sweat the days when it's like 70 cents, yeah. either positive or negative. Yeah, this will make up for it. And obviously as the biggest spikes happen, then it'll just make up for months of usage. So who comes out on top? I guess we'll find out after 12 months of usage of Amber, right? So, but look, this got us excited, $45 in one day, and that's five minutes of spike. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, otherwise, uh, if you're interested in installing a solar or battery system for your home, uh, Ludicrous Feed has a collaboration with Solar Choice. Um, they're the experts in that field in getting the best system for your home. So check out that link in the video description below. Otherwise, uh, any final thoughts? Mm. No. No, no, no. So far, so good, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. And uh, yeah, just wanted to update you guys with, with this um, excitement from uh, <laughs> Amber for our spike, our first spike for a long time. In fact, our first spike with this battery. With the big fact. battery, yeah, yes. With, big battery. with the big battery. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so obviously we'll give you more updates as uh, summer comes along. Otherwise, from Joy, from Joy and myself on Ludicrous Feed, thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, it's happy charging.